Hey everybody out there, this is Brandon Malali. You guys know me as Blazer from the Purple Cobras and Dodgeball. You are watching The Weekend Gamer. What have we got? White female dumped in plain sight. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. The examiner received a new letter today. Hey, what's up, guys? Mo Brown here with TheWeekendGamer.com. We're hanging out at Wizard World Anaheim. Look who I ran into, my boy, Brandon Molale. What's going on, man? Oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. We're, we're making it happen here in Comic-Con. That's, that's right. You're no stranger to these events, right? Yeah, you know what? This is actually my first official Comic-Con. I came to this one last year, the Anaheim Comic-Con through Wizard World, but I was more of a more of a spectator coming. So this is the first official okay. visit for, for Brandon Malale at Comic Con. All right, well, and we had your own booth here too, got, right? Got a booth, right. got, you know, got a lot of uh, memorabilia here. Photos from a lot of the movies people know me from, I TV shows. Fury, right, Dodgeball, got, gotta drop a few names, you know, yeah, right? Yeah, so Mr. Deeds, everybody uh -huh. loves that. But the big one, that like True Blood coming out this year is going to be know, great. I am excited about that, I'm right? excited. I'm blessed to be part of that show. It's, it's a great show on HBO, and, uh, you know, you're going to see me a, a bunch of episodes. Now, you know, we have a big gaming contingency. A lot of people have probably played games that you've probably been in and don't know that you were like, the, the actual body for what for, in God of War, right, for Kratos, right? That is correct. I did uh, the mocap for the, uh, the cutscenes. I guess you guys call them the cutscenes in between levels for the original God of War. I did a lot of the characters, including Kratos. So, like, yep. You got the shoulders, you got the tattoos hey and everything, that's, right? That's, that's, no, no tattoos <laughs> necessary for that. But that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of work. On that. But God of War, that franchise has been successful. And I, that was a fun job. Have you actually you played the game? Yes, I have. Yes, all right. So that's you. And you're going up against Zeus and all the other gods out there. You know, that's you're playing with uh, with Brandon right you got here. got that sword, man. That's yeah. me driving it right into his belly. That was fun. I remember that was fun. It's like a, probably like a kid in a candy store, you know, to actually get paid to do something so like that, right? I mean, how, how cool is that? Yeah, I've, I've been blessed to be a working actor for 12 years now, and it really is so much fun. And some jobs are a lot more work than others, but some of them you just, like, especially dodgeball. I got, I got to go, every day I got to go and just throw dodgeballs in people's faces. I mean, come on, it's like, it's like, Mo, you got to tell me, hey, we're going to come to work today, and you're just going to chuck balls at, at random people. Oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, some of the you know it's, it's it's fun. I love what I do. It's a lot of hard work, and people they see the end product. They see the results of the TV show, or they see the film, and they're like, I want to get in this business. What they don't see is, you know, you look around here, especially in Comic Con. We're we're in Los Angeles, so actors are a plenty here. But we work extremely hard to get work, and that's for me the acting part. I do 1% of the time. 99% of the time, I'm out there networking and hustling and working my connections to keep the jobs coming. It's, you know, you're blessed if you get a job that takes off. God bless you, you know, if, if, but there's so much of, of, of us talented or so many of us talented actors that are out there that we're, anybody can willing to jump into almost most of these roles that you see. But it, it's, it's really a lot of different things that make that possible. You have to be good at your job. You have to have adversity to stick it out. And you just, sometimes it's just you got to get a little lucky. Yeah, right. That doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt at all. Now, we got to also talk about one of the, probably one of the most, the biggest games, anticipated games of this year coming out. L.A. Noir, you guys. My boy Brandon is in it, right? <laughs> how excited, how cool Zoom is that? Zoom in on this. Look, that is, this is me. I play a character named Emmett Schneider in the upcoming Rockstar game, L.A. Noir, and look at that. Okay, pan in on that ugly mug. Now pan out on this ugly mug. That is me in a video game, and that I think is the, the coolest thing ever that, I've done mocap before in God of War, that's me, I knew I did that character. I could look at the character, that was me. But this is really my face, my features, my voice, so I think that's the coolest thing ever. That's, that's up there like having your own action figure, right? That would be nice. They, <laughs> We, somebody watching this, we need to make a Globo Gym action figure series. It would sell. I want the blazer. <laughs> well, instead of the kung fu grip, you gotta have like the throwing action, right? Yeah, yeah. We had the dodgeball grip, dodge, dodgeball, dodgeball winging action. Now, you know, as far as the, the the game, very highly anticipated. So you actually do a lot of the voices and stuff in it as well, too, or just I actually uh, did because I'm I'm a big rock star fan of the uh, uh, the the series. 
Uh, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank Grand right Theft now. Grand Theft Auto or? The Grand Theft Auto. Okay, okay. okay. See, I'm so into L.A. Noir, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Grand Theft Auto. Who Red Dead Redemption also, you know? You know, but it's like, for me, I grew up, I'm an 80, I grew up in the 80s, so the cool thing for me is like, especially Vice City. Oh, is, in Vice now? City, awesome. the soundtrack in, in that, it was one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard because you could sit there for hours playing Grand Theft Vice City and you just switch all the radio station. I hear all the 80s classics. <laughs> So, you know what? Be part of the video games is so cool. It's it's so cool. But yeah, you know, we'll see what happens with, with LA Noir. But I have a feeling it's gonna it's gonna break some records. I, I think so. I'm, I'm predicting it. You know. Now, as far as other video games, what, what else are you playing right now? What other games are you, are you into? Uh, I'm actually taking a break from the games right now because I'm actually gonna have a baby next month, and oh, I'm a oh, oh, big daddy. I'm a new daddy. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> So the games are kind of on the back burner right now, but you know, the, May 17th, LA Noir launches, so I might, I might have to dust it out, and <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, all right, but, I, but I'm going to be definitely playing LA Noir, because come on, hey, I got to play my own character, yeah. come on. <laughs> excellent, excellent, Brandon. Always a pleasure talking pleasure. to you. Good luck with the, Thank with you. the new baby coming on, on the way. I appreciate so, that. Right? You guys could go check me out. It's at brandonmalali.com. They spell that B-R-A-N-D-O-N. Malali, M-O-L-A-L-E, brandonmalali.com.